So support guys is critical. If you're ever going after something, especially something that's um, outside of your comfort zone, because that means there's an unknown. Mm -hmm. That means that you're already um, there's some hesitancy because it's not been something that has been habitual for you. Otherwise, it'd be already in your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. So that means that you've not created a habit out of it, but you'd like to. If that's the case, wouldn't it be nice to communicate with those who you love most and who love you most? This is what I would need to feel supported to, to meet this dream, to reach this goal. Having those conversations is really key. Yeah. We've learned that. Yeah. We have. Yeah. If you're a go-getter, faith-driven and family-focused and need to break through to your next level, this is the podcast for you. Your self-talk can reshape every area of your life. It's time to dream and think big. Welcome to the Self-Talk Experience with Darnell and Tracy Self. It's time to elevate, baby. Let's get into the show. Welcome, Self-Talk Experience family. I'm here with T-Self and... This is a self-talk experience where we focus on the things we say to ourselves because the things we say to ourselves about ourselves eventually determine what we attract and even who we attract for ourselves. So welcome, everybody. What's going on? How was your week? It's been amazing. It was our anniversary. Yes. Happy anniversary, babe. Happy anniversary. 28 years. I was about to say, do you remember? In a lot of cases... <laughs> The men don't remember, right? And people like get on us as men for not remembering the years or the dates. Mm -hmm. This one right here, sometimes you're like, hey, how many years? Well, you know, our last episode was about commitment. And that shows your commitment to this marriage, babe. So you <laughs> always remember, you're the best. <laughs> Listen, we are going to talk today about support. Oh, yes. Support. Huge. Yeah, because sometimes it's emotional support that people need. Sometimes it's financial support. Sometimes it's financial support. Sometimes it's physical gestures mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that show support. Absolutely. So we're going to talk about support because I don't know if I've ever achieved anything without support. Hmm. If I think about all of my achievements, big, small, in between, um, I've always been blessed to have some type of support. So in yeah, go ahead. You want you know, to say I was something thinking while you were saying that is so key for me to um, I remember when I was going for my Zumba license and I felt a little guilty because our two youngest, um, Alana Macau, were still at home. Yeah. And I was leaving a lot and they were so supportive of me and it made me feel so good. They were actually say, Mom, you're late for your class. Mom, you're late. You have to be here. Mom, do you need help? You, where's your water bottle? They were so supportive and it meant the world to me. Like you said, it's, it may seem small, but what they did made me feel like I could do it. And it took the guilt away yeah. because I felt like they were very happy for me yeah. and pushing me to be better. Yeah. And that's what support is all about. Yeah, absolutely. And so not only did you have the uh, emotional support there, but they were also showing up at your classes. Yes, absolutely. Right, you have friends show up, family show up. <laughs> yes. So you had that physical support when you saw them there physically. That's so true. Right, so as much as people said, oh my gosh, we're so excited for you being a Zumba instructor, I'm sure it meant something special to see them show up in class. Absolutely. It was like the icing on the cake. Yeah. You know, um, to hear someone say they support you is amazing. And to ask you about what you're doing shows that they met what they said, but then for them to go that next step and to show up physically for you yeah. is what helps you just go right on. You can just push yourself all the way through. But wouldn't you agree that different people would rate what's most important to them differently? In other words, like you're saying, hey, look, for, for them to show up, it meant the world to me. Mm -hmm. For someone else, it may say, oh my gosh, for them to actually pay for my class, to support me, like financial support may be right. ranked high. Right. But for you, it's like if, if someone paid for your class, that'd be one thing. For them to show up probably would mean even more, I would imagine, for you than someone even paying for one of your courses. Absolutely. But yeah. again, you're talking about people and everyone's different and everybody yeah. has different needs. And I was just having a conversation last night with a very good friend of mine and we were talking about expectations mm. on relationships. Mm. And what does the support look like in your relationship, yeah. you have to define that because um, the relationship is not going to be a match 
if you're expecting a certain type of support and they're not giving it to you, but yeah. if you haven't had the conversation, you don't know what they need. Yeah. You don't know what the support you may be absolutely open yep. to giving that support. But if you don't know, you're guessing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You're left to assume unless communication is clear. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. And assumption can be really bad because you're left to start thinking about why that person did or didn't do something without getting clarity from that person. So you can say, oh my gosh, I was going way down this road and it wasn't even in that city. Like you weren't even close to it. I found that to be true for me. Yeah, but this is the other thing. When you assume, you automatically go into taking things personally Mm. every time. So a lot of times... Yeah, um, we can take things personally because we haven't had that conversation. Yeah. So, you know, I'm feeling one way and thinking one way and definitely taking it personal. But actually, if I knew the real story, they may be in a certain space and everyone in their circle feels the same way. At that yeah. Time. So it's not personal to me. Right. It's personal to that person. Yeah. And where they are, yeah. because none of us had that conversation about what support do you need? This is so good because. Right? Yeah. So. So I think the first takeaway here is that support is personal like it's 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 personal to you don't take things personally Mm -hmm. if you haven't communicated what support looks like for you right right so i remember when we first started our business and i came home i don't know if you remember this but i remember it and i came home from a meeting Mm -hmm. and none of my prospects had shown up and so you said when i walked in the house you like how'd the meeting go i was like nobody showed up you're like, so we didn't make any money mm. as the first thing. Right. And I was already in a place where I was um, not feeling good about myself because I wasn't making a lot of money and because I felt like I wasn't providing like I wanted to. And so I do remember that mm. because you told me that you exactly what you're saying. You expressed it to me. So this is perfect for what yeah. we're talking about, because you told me that. And let me ask you this. Did I, did I shift? Did I ever do it again? No, you changed because I I told you that, Hey, um, I'm already feeling a little bad and disappointed. Yeah. And I would prefer if I ever have a bad day or a bad meeting that I would like for you. And I wish I could remember exactly what I said, but I told, I remember telling you, I would like for you to say this and do this, like, give me a hug or whatever it was. And all I know is that from that point on, whenever I had a no show, when I was, if you said, how was the meeting? How was the day? And I was like, you know, I honestly didn't go as I planned. You always encouraged me from that moment. But, like, well, yes. And I appreciate you having a conversation, but we could be in a space where you never said anything and I continued and maybe even got worse. And then where would the relationship and the business be? Not, so, not, not 28 years. Not 28 years. <laughs> not 28 years. 18? Eight. <laughs> Eight days. <laughs> no, but my point is, this is perfect because you were willing and open to having the conversation yeah. and having the communication and I was open to receiving it. Yeah. If I didn't know, I'm immediate. My mind is not where yours is. We've talked about this plenty of times. Right. I'm thinking this way. So I'm going in this direction. And because you're not t- talking to me, I could easily be pulled in this direction. Right. Oh my gosh, I didn't think about that. Right. But because we're not having a conversation and I'm going this way, I'm going to stay with my way. Because right. in my mind, this is the way to go. Right. This is where I am and this is the space I'm in. So in my mind, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, so we didn't make any money. Okay, so what does that mean? Because this bill is coming up because I'm the one that kept up with mm-hmm. all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Okay, so we have to pay this in three days. So that's where I'm going. Right. Not to be mean or negative to you, but you took it that way. Right. I did. And no fault of your own. Yeah. Right. Right. But then when you explain it to me, I'm like, okay, I have to think about those things, but I don't have to say them to him. Yeah. And if I do, I can say, okay, great, babe. So when's your next meeting? Because remember, we have to pay this bill by the eighth. Mm-hmm. That would have, so then that was a way. Right. Yeah. Approach. Yeah. And I think it's t- timing too, right? So because I think I'm, I'm just thinking about where I was at the time. Even if you bought up the bills that had to be paid in that moment, I wouldn't have felt good. Yeah. Right. Be- that. Right. Because I'm already feeling some kind of way. It's not like I was sitting at home with my sitting on my hands, watching TV with my feet up, like, Oh, well, the bills are due. I was actually out working towards a goal. And so for me to feel like, man, I'm giving it everything. It just hasn't resulted in, you know, 
monetary rewards yet. Yeah. Right. I was growing. I was learning. I was um, be, uh, learning how to overcome objections. I was becoming resilient because anytime you've had a pain, it is a sign of some resilience. Yeah. It is a sign that something has hurt you and you're still here. Mm -hmm. Right. You're still here. You're still moving forward. So if you're still moving forward right now and you have scars and pain and you're still here, it means that you are resilient because you've not given up. Yeah. Right. So so I guess how I felt was, man, I, I just want support. I just want. Right. And so I had to be really descriptive of how I felt. What I felt that support should look like, number one, but number two, the timing in which I said it. Right. Because if you're saying it and you're angry, it's going to come across like. You already know I'm out here working like, you know what I'm doing to try to support the family. So why would you say, right? And now all of a sudden you would never responded the same. Well, I would have responded probably by saying, not supporting you. Oh, I'm supporting you. And I would have <laughs> probably gone into the 10 million ways I was. Oh, I could feel it. I felt like you were doing it just now. I got scared. I was like, hey. <laughs> but in that moment, but in that moment, I would not be thinking about right. the one thing that you needed at that time. Yeah. You know how yeah. somebody can say, well, I did these 10 things. Right. But yeah, but today I needed you to do the 11th thing. Yeah. Yes, thank you for doing those 10 things all the time, but I didn't need that today. Yeah. And that's that's where it gets. Yeah. Me. Yep. No, I get it. I get you it. Know? Yeah. And so I think what we've learned, right, together, and this is the reason why we're co-hosting on this self-talk platform, because what I say, sometimes you're say, not that you're... um being combative mm. or argumentative. It's just like, hey, have you thought about this? I'm like, oh, that's really good. I hadn't thought about it. That's why I think it's good for us to co-host here yeah. because what we've learned is that sometimes in the moment is not the best time to talk about everything. Yeah, but you're an in-moment person too. So I know. That's, that's hard. I know, but I've learned, right? It's all, listen, it's, all, it's also about compromise, Yeah. right? And we talked about this in one of the other episodes, how sometimes you have to give 90% and someone else is giving 10%. We're like, we both have to give 50, 50, you know, somebody's not in that place at that moment where they can give yeah. 50%. They're drained. They've, you know, they've dealt with something that day that is emotionally taking them out. And if you push them to meet you halfway, they're going to say something they regret. They're going to say something that because they're in that place where they already felt like I can't talk about it right now. We were like, no, we're going to talk about it right now. And they just said, I can, mm -hmm. but because we pushed it, we're going to get it in a way that may not be as productive and fruitful. Absolutely. In, in terms of finding a solution. But you're talking about compromise. That could be a whole. I know. That's another that's episode. episode. Yeah. Compromise is huge. Yeah. All right. Let's get huge. back to support then. Let's talk about support. Let's talk okay. about compromise next. Okay. okay. <laughs> so we're saying that support looks different for different people. Yes. And that we should communicate it. Yes. And that the timing in which we communicate it is also critical. Mm -hmm. And then celebrate when you are getting that support. Because otherwise, a person said, well, maybe this isn't working because they told me to do this, but I don't know if I'm doing it right or not, because they've never said to me, hey, thank you. I know I asked for you to do this. And now that you're doing it, I just want to say it means the world to me. It's helping me. It's the, it's, it made me set up another appointment. It made me go to the gym one more day. It made me right. So so if it is encouraging you and if the support you feel is exactly what you've been asking for, then it should be celebrated. And it's so easy to say, well, you should have been doing that anyway. But again, <laughs> but, but again, celebrating, too, is also part of people's love language. Some people don't really need it. They may need something else. Mm -hmm. So for you, words of affirmation, you do want to hear. Thank you for this. You want to hear that. Mm -hmm. right? But also someone else can say, you don't need to say that to me. I need your, your support for if it's a workout. I need you supporting me by doing my meal prep. Mm. You don't ever got to say all of that. Mm -hmm. So like, again, but you have to know the person. But, but, but watch this. Support. If the person does it, though, this is what I'm saying. If the person does it, if they if you say, look, this is what support looks like and they do the meal prep, wouldn't it still be nice? Yes, yes, yes. I got it. Okay. You, know, you know what I mean? To Absolutely. say, hey, thank you. This is exactly what I've been looking for. Just so that they know they're in the right lane. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, they That's switch good. lanes on you. That's good. Yeah. Right. So it's not it's more than just words of affirmation. It's saying that, hey. I've asked you to do this. You did it. And I just wanted to say thank you. Right. You're in you. We're going down a lane now where this is exactly what I wanted. And, and here's what happens in that situation. When people are in alignment, mm -hmm. um, uh, what could not have been accomplished if they were out of alignment? 
they can accomplish 10 times faster and 10 times more. This is what I've seen. This is so spot on. I shouldn't say that because I'm saying it's kind of like arrogant. Like, look, what I'm saying right now is exactly what you need to hear. But what I'm saying is what I've noticed, what I've seen and um, in our relationship, in the relationships of others, Uh is that when you can find someone who's going after something, they've set a goal, they've got the dream, they're passionate about it. And they've got someone who's there to encourage them, support them, reassure them in whatever way they see that support is most important for them. Right. right? They've got accountability if that's what they need. They're on it. They're like, hey, did you do such and such today? Like you talked about the kids, right? Yeah. So, I mean, Milan showing up at your Zumba class, like meant the world to you. And it made you want to do even more. Then you could talk about it afterwards. Right. Right. So it gave you when you all are home, Milan, what, how'd you think? How you think I did? She was like, oh, my, my gosh, mom, you were so much better. And that song, you got to keep doing that song. So that allowed you or put you in a place where not only did you feel supported, but you want to do more of it and you did yes. it better. That's very true. Yeah. So, so support guys is critical. If you're ever going after something, especially something that's um, outside of your comfort zone, because that means there's an unknown. Mm-hmm. That means that you're already um, there's some hesitancy because it's not been something that has been habitual for you. Otherwise, it'd be already in your comfort zone. Mm-hmm. So that means that you've not created a habit out of it, but you'd like to. If that's the case. Wouldn't it be nice to communicate with those who you love most and who love you most? This is what I would need to feel supported to to meet this dream, to reach this goal. Having those conversations is really key. Yeah. We've learned that. Yeah. 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 So I I pray that you guys have those conversations because I already know what's going to happen for you. I already know what's going to happen for you for the rest of this year. I see you elevating to a level that you once hadn't thought of because you hadn't communicated the support that you felt like you needed. And once you get that support, it's going to feel like a springboard. Oh, yeah. It's going to feel like a um, like a slingshot where you've been pulled back. But the support is now springing you forward faster than ever before. And you'll go farther than you've ever been before, all because you communicated with the necessary people, yep. the necessary support that you needed. Hey, this has been another self-talk. And we pray the things you start saying to yourself about yourself mm-hmm. will attract everything you ever wanted for yourself. Hey, self-talk. See you guys at the next episode. Thank you for listening to the Self Talk Podcast with Darnell and Tracy Self. We hope you enjoyed. Be sure to rate and review this podcast on your favorite podcast listening platform. And we'll see you next time. And remember, talk good to yourself. Good to yourself. If you've ever started something and said to yourself, I'm not quitting until I reach the finish line. There's a perfect podcast for you. The We Won't Quit podcast by my man, Mike Humes, mailman and millionaire, never gave up. Not only did he have success, but he's helped a ton of other people do the same thing. He's going to be interviewing people who never stopped until they finished. So check it out. We Won't Quit podcast.